Alga box clips. Hi, Benny. What data feeds recommend? Continuum or rhythmic? Um, so everybody always says, well, rhythmic is better. Well, technically, there's more data to it, but more is not always better. Sometimes you want less um, and continuum, just in my opinion, personal opinion. Now, again, they could have changed this, but from the studies I have done in the past, they're always like, well, rhythmic comes in a little bit faster. You can see it. Well, what happens is uh, some of their um, un um, aggregated order system thing where everything is individual, it just taxes your computer more. So if you want to tax your computer more, then go with Rhythmic. Um, if you want to tax your computer less and still have the same, then continue. So this follows Occam's razor principle. So when, uh, when two answers, then the simplest solution is the best solution, then you're going with this one right here. Continue. My right there. So right here, aggregated quotes. If you're on the R Trader, you cannot have that on. You've got to set it to off. Okay. Uh, again, I don't use that. I have a CQG data feed um, with my broker. I have I have a couple of brokers. The trader, now it's time to buy data. Oh, you're trying to figure out which one. So you want the CME data bundle, top of book. Yeah, you see the one that says CME group, top of book, level one. That's the one you want right there, $12 a month. Let's see, Barbecue Sizzle says, Interactive Brokers doesn't give historical data, so every time you start up NT, your charts are blank. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. Okay, so in that case, uh, let me show you a little bit of a trick. So since uh, Barbecue Sizzle brought that up here, um, let me post, bring this over here. So there are some options you can get deep into. You can talk to NinjaTrader about that on using one for historical and one for live. But yeah, if, if the Interactive Brokers doesn't have historical, my... Um, thing I would say is so uh, multi broker license and then use a secondary for historical um, you have one for historical and then one for real time you can set that up it's just a complicated setup under your connections um, but you can talk to the trader on that or uh, google that if you want to do that press the like button share subscribe and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned